Today, I'll be showing you the easiest way to buy an NFT, and I'll be walking you through the process step by step, so that way you can go out and buy all the NFTs you want all on your own. My name is Devin Cook, happy Wednesday, and welcome back to Dev Money. Now here's an outline or what you can expect from today's video. First, I'll be explaining what OpenSea is, then I'll be going through your different crypto wallet options that all interface with OpenSea, then I'm gonna show you how to get money or crypto into your crypto wallet, I'll show you how to find NFTs on OpenSea, how to buy them, how to wrap Ethereum, how to place bids, and finally, how to check gas fees. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first up, what exactly is OpenSea? Well, OpenSea is just a website, it's an NFT marketplace that allows people like you or me to either list NFTs for sale or to go on and buy them. The website is OpenSea.io. Any other website that you go to that's not OpenSea.io is probably a false website and they're probably trying to scam you. And when you come onto the website, this is what you're gonna see. You're gonna see kind of a bit of an example of some of the NFTs that you can buy. You see they have this notable drop section right here, the Lamaverse, 100 INFTs, the Revenants, Tabs. These are just all some NFTs that have recently launched that they're choosing to highlight. You can then see what's trending in all the different categories. You can come down and see what you need to do to create and sell your own NFTs. And you can see a bunch of different resources to help you get started with OpenSea. And then you can browse by category depending on if you're interested in art NFTs, music NFTs, domain names, collectibles, trading cards. There's a whole bunch and you should definitely go onto OpenSea and start browsing through a bunch of different collections, a bunch of different projects and just a bunch of different categories to see which kind of NFTs you really like the best. And then they have this video here that you can watch that just give you some more information about OpenSea. And when you're on the main website, you're gonna see the search bar so you can search for specific NFTs, specific collections, specific creators. And then you're gonna have your marketplace tab and you're gonna be able to go through all the different kinds of NFTs. You're gonna have a bunch of stats so you can see rankings and activity. You can see resources in case you wanna join their Discord community, look on their blog, or just see all the information that they have available to you. You can hit the create tab to make your own NFT. And if you are interested in making your own NFT and listing it on OpenSea, I've made a video showing you exactly how to do that. So make sure to check that one out after this video. And then you can go through, you can see your profile, your favorites, my collections, your settings, and you can log out. And then you have this section, which is gonna give you your different wallet options. And these are gonna be your main wallet options that interface with OpenSea. You're gonna have MetaMask, which is by far probably the most popular. You have your Coinbase wallet, your Wallet Connect, your Fortmatic, and then you can have a bunch of different options like Bitsky, Vinly, Dapper, and just a whole bunch of different things. Trust, Opera Touch, et cetera, et cetera. What I recommend is if you already have a crypto wallet set up like a Trust wallet or a Bitsky wallet or some other wallet that you're using, you can go ahead and just use that wallet with OpenSea. But if you don't have a wallet set up, I would suggest going with a MetaMask wallet right here. It's the most popular, it's very good. It works with most platforms, most websites, and probably that's gonna be your number one recommendation that you're gonna see across the internet. Even if you already have one of those other wallets like a Trust wallet or a Bitsky wallet, I would still recommend going with MetaMask anyway, just because it's a better wallet in my opinion. So go ahead and set up a wallet if you do need help setting up a MetaMask wallet, I made a video about that so you can check that one out as well. And I'll be using MetaMask for all the examples throughout the rest of the video. So once you have your MetaMask wallet set up, you're gonna have this extension here and once you click on it, you're gonna see, you know, you have a brand new wallet. You probably have $0, zero ETH, zero crypto in it unless you've already transferred some in there. But many of you are probably wondering how you get crypto into your MetaMask wallet. Well, it's very simple. All you're gonna do is you're gonna come up here on your account and you're gonna see this big long string of characters starting with 0x and that's gonna be your wallet address. So you can go ahead and you can copy that right there. If you wanna see the full wallet address, you just click on these three dots right here, click on account details, and then it's gonna show you your entire wallet address. Now I'll also be using Coinbase as an example because I assume most people probably are familiar with Coinbase. It's the most popular crypto exchange. And so that's probably where most people have their cryptocurrencies and you can easily send money from your Coinbase into your MetaMask. Now all you're gonna do is you're gonna sign into your Coinbase and you're gonna come here to your different assets. You can see I've got really just a bunch of kind of nonsense coins right in here. Just stuff I got when I was first signing up for Coinbase and answered a bunch of questions and they gave me some free crypto. So for example, I have some Stellar Lumens right here. Now, say I wanna send these Stellar Lumens into my MetaMask address. And keep in mind, if you are wanting to buy NFTs on OpenSea, your best bet is gonna be sending Ethereum into your MetaMask, but I don't have Ethereum in my Coinbase right now, just some of these other tokens, but the process works exactly the same. So you'll come here to the coin on Coinbase that you wanna transfer. In your case, you're gonna be using Ethereum. In my case, I'm just using the Stellar Lumens. And then you're gonna make sure to copy to your clipboard just like this, your MetaMask wallet address. And then you'll come back into Coinbase and I'll just come to the send section. I'm gonna hit send all, and then you'll come here to the to section and I'm just gonna hit paste. That'll paste the address. I can write a memo if I want. Now there's probably gonna be a small gas or network fee in order to send your crypto to another address, but usually it's just a couple of dollars. And then once you've sent your money from Coinbase, it usually just 
just takes about a minute or two, sometimes three or four. And then you can come back into your MetaMask. In this case, I switched accounts because I actually have Ethereum in this MetaMask account. And you'll see now you have Ethereum in your wallet and you can see that you received it and you can see the amount, the total, you can buy, send, swap, all kinds of other things at this point now. And if you would like to buy Ethereum directly within MetaMask, you can just hit this buy button right here and connect to wire or transact. And then basically you're gonna be connecting your bank account or your debit card details and just buying Ethereum directly through them and it's gonna go right into your MetaMask. So you can also do it that way. All right, so now that you have your MetaMask all set up, it's funded, it has some Ethereum in it, how do you actually find an NFT that you potentially want to buy? Well, a good place to start is just to browse OpenSea. And one of the things that I like to do is I like to come over here to stats, look at the rankings and see what are the most popular NFTs. And you can adjust all of these criteria right here, but I'm just gonna leave it at the last seven days, all categories, all chains. You can change it to Polygon or Platinum if you would like, or just Ethereum. You can pick a specific category and you can pick a more specific time window. But here you can see what the most popular NFTs have been over the last seven days. So here we have Mechaverse, Jungle Freaks, Kaiju Kings, Doodles, CryptoPunks, Board Ape Yacht Club. And if you check OpenSea fairly frequently, you'll be able to see kind of which ones are always trending in the top. For example, CryptoPunks and Board Ape Yacht Club have consistently been among the top NFT projects for quite a while now. You can also see the floor price. You can see how many owners there are, how many total assets there are. So this is a great idea just to get you a kind of quick snapshot of what the top projects are. And you can see whether or not they're in your specific price range. So you can see that Mechaverse is a floor price of 1.25, quite a bit lower than it used to be. It used to be right around nine. There's been a lot going on with that project. Let me know if you want to hear more about it. Jungle Freaks 0.93. And then you're going to get to some of these heavy hitters like Board Ape Yacht Club, 35 Ethereum floor. And so some of these you might be priced out of just because the floor prices are so high. And that's totally fine. You definitely don't want to stretch yourself, only invest money that you can afford to lose, especially with something as risky as NFTs. But you will find some that are cheaper as well, like Halloween Bears are 0.19 Ethereum, Party Ape Billionaire Club 0.38 Ethereum. So you can find some cheaper ones and make sure just to stick within your budget. Now, just because some of these projects are ranked very highly based on their volume, doesn't mean you should just go ahead and start buying them. You definitely need to do your own due diligence, look at their discords, look at their Twitter following, look at their website, get all the information you can about the project before you spend any money on it. For example, you might think that Mechaverse is a good NFT project to buy into because it's number one in volume in the last seven days, 1.25 Ethereum floor price, not too crazy right now, but there's a lot of different opinions on this project that range very widely from people saying it's a trash project and people saying it's gonna be the next Board Ape Yacht Club. So you have to do your own research and form your own opinion. And this is really one of the most basic ways to find NFT projects. I recommend you get onto Twitter and get on some other websites and start following people that are in the NFT space. And that way you can get a better idea of what projects are up and coming, what projects are doing really well, and just kind of a general idea of how the NFT space is going. All right, so now say you found the perfect project and you wanna buy one. Well, what do you do? Well, it's pretty simple. You go to the project on OpenSea and we'll use Mutant Cats as an example. And then you're gonna scroll through and you're basically gonna find whatever NFT that you wanna buy. I like to go through, look at the buy now, look at the prices low to high, look at the highest last sales. And then I also like to come over to the category section. You can start looking at the different accessories, the different backgrounds, and you can really see which ones are the most rare, which ones sell the highest, which ones sell the lowest, and you can make your decision from there. Let's say we just have all the money in the world to spend and we would just really like this cat, 9998. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this cat and we're gonna see a bunch of different information. You're gonna see the different properties here and what makes it so rare. You're gonna see a bit of information about mutant cats. You're gonna see some details like the token address and what blockchain it's on. And also you can scroll down here to see its trading history. So you can see that the first person minted it 14 days ago. They then transferred it and sold it for five Ethereum. And then that person, the current owner is now listing it for 273 Ethereum or just over $1 million. You can also see how many views this particular NFT has and how many people have favored it as well. So say that I wanna buy this, I've got the million dollars to spend. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit buy now. And if a project hasn't been verified or OpenSea isn't super certain about its verification and whether or not it's authentic, then you're gonna get this notification. And it's basically gonna say that OpenSea is an open market. Anyone can upload content, including content that may resemble others. Basically, they're saying that some people will go copy a project and then re-upload it onto OpenSea as a new NFT and try and sell it to others and basically scam them. And you're typically gonna see that with projects like here with mutant cats that aren't verified. If they're verified by OpenSea, you're not gonna get that little window pop up. And they'll give you a little confidence score. They're gonna tell you the name, when it was created, how many sales, all this kind of stuff. And then you just have to tick this box that says you've reviewed this information. And then the next screen that's gonna pop up is this one right here where you can complete the checkout. By checking this box, I agree to OpenSea's terms of service. And then assuming you have the money in your MetaMask wallet, you're gonna hit confirm checkout or add funds. But so that you can see the next steps, let's go to an NFT project that's a bit cheaper. And to find some really cheap NFTs, you can just click here on the marketplace. You can come over here to buy now. And then I like to sort by 0.001 Ethereum minimum. And then of course, sort from low to high. 
And when you're looking for NFTs that are this low in price, you're gonna see some kind of crazy things. But this is really just to show you an example. So I'll just pick one, say I really like this NFT right here. Well, I can hit buy bundle just like it did before. You're gonna get this notification this time that says that one item has not been reviewed by OpenSea. You're gonna check these boxes to acknowledge that and then confirm checkout. And then this is the next part that's gonna happen. You're gonna get this pop-up from MetaMask and it's basically gonna give you all the details of the transaction. So you can see that you're buying this NFT for 0.001 Ethereum. You can see that the estimated gas fee is 0.07 Ethereum or about $275. And likely you're gonna get this transaction to go through within about 30 seconds. And then the total with the gas fee is about 0.075 Ethereum or $279. And if you wanna go ahead and buy that NFT, you just hit confirm right here. Or if you do not, you decide, hey, the gas fees are too high, you can hit reject right here. Now say that you really like that mutant cat that we were first looking at, but you just don't wanna spend a million dollars on it. Maybe you think it's worth about 100,000. So what you can do is you can make an offer and you can make an offer on any NFT, even if it's not available for sale with the buy now button. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna hit make an offer. You're gonna get the same warning before, you can hit agree, and then you're gonna need to put in what your offer amount is. So say you wanna offer, you know, 100 Ethereum. You can put in 100 Ethereum. You're gonna notice this is actually W Ethereum or wrapped Ethereum, and I'll be getting into that in just a moment. You can set an offer expiration with a specific time. You're gonna check this box and you're gonna make an offer. But as you can see, we don't have enough WETH in order to make an offer. So what is WETH? WETH or wrapped Ethereum is just basically Ethereum that you've tied up in another contract envelope or you've wrapped it that allows it to interface with OpenSea and make bids. Because when you have wrapped Ethereum, you can make multiple bids on multiple NFTs. For example, you can make 10 bids of one Ethereum each, even if you only have one Ethereum to spend. And then what happens is once one of those NFT owners accepts your offer, all of the other offers that you have placed will now be voided. So you end up only spending that one Ethereum, which is great because that's all you had to spend to begin with. But it also allows you the flexibility of putting a bunch of different offers on a bunch of NFTs because it's really kind of like fishing. You don't know what creator or what owner is ready to sell their NFT. And so putting out a bunch of offers is really the best way to go. And you also get a bunch of people that put bot offers out on a bunch of different NFT projects. And so once you start buying NFTs, especially popular projects, you're going to start seeing that you get really low ball offers. And these are most likely just bots that people have set up that are just going out and sending a bunch of offers to people hoping that someone bites. Now what you need to do in order to convert Ethereum is you need to come up here on the top right hand side to this wallet section. It's going to pull up your account. You're going to click right here on these three little dots and then you're going to hit wrap. And then you're going to get this window that shows up right here. It's going to give you your balance right here. And then you're going to be able to put in how much Ethereum you want to wrap. So say 0 0.01 Ethereum, turning that into 0 0.01 wrapped Ethereum, and then you click convert tokens. Now, in order to do that, because you're working with Ethereum and you're on the blockchain, there's going to be some gas fees and you're going to see this MetaMask window pop up again. It's going to say that you're trying to go from account one to wrapped Ethereum. And it's saying that your estimated gas fee is going to be $20 or 0 0.005 Ethereum. The total amount plus gas fees is 0 0.015 Ethereum. And then you can reject or confirm that. And you can always go from wrapped Ethereum to unwrapped Ethereum or just normal Ethereum through the same process as well. So if you do want to make offers, make sure you have wrapped Ethereum because that's the only way to make an offer. Offer. And the last point that we'll talk about, you've probably noticed the term gas fees come up quite a bit. And gas fees can add quite a premium on an NFT that you're looking to buy. Like with this example I was just using to wrap some Ethereum, it's going to cost me $27 just to do that. And that's quite the transaction fee because that's about a third of the cost of the Ethereum that I'm actually wrapping. And whenever you're making a transaction, you always want to reference this estimated gas fee portion because if you're just in a hurry and you click confirm, you may be spending a lot more in gas fees than you originally intended. And there's a couple of different ways to monitor how expensive of the gas fees will be. Now, one of the ways that I like to monitor gas fees is by using rarebleanalytics.com. And they'll give you this bar right here that you can use to kind of judge whether or not it's expensive to put through a transaction on Ethereum. So right now we're at 105 Gwei, so a bit expensive, but okay. I like it when you're around 50 to 75 Gwei. It doesn't happen a whole ton, but when you do, it makes things much cheaper. And then when you scroll down, it'll give you the average cost that you can expect when you're performing certain transactions like creating a collection, approving, minting, etc, etc. So make sure to be monitoring the gas fees so you're not spending too much. You can also use a gas fee heat map that's going to show you the best time to mint or perform any transaction on the Ethereum blockchain. And so you can see right here that Mondays in the morning right around 12 a.m., 1 a.m. is going to be 45 way on average. You can see that Saturday evenings are also pretty good at around 51 way. 4 a.m. on Mondays are at about 39 way. So definitely check these out so that way you're not spending too much money on gas fees. I hope that was helpful. Let me know down below in the comments what you thought and what questions you have. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.